Hi you guys, it's Stephanie. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having a wonderful first day of the new year. It's actually New Year's Day. I wish I could say I had recorded this yesterday and uploaded it early this morning, but I couldn't. I tried. Um, so I, I ran into quite a few snags as I was attempting to do a video yesterday. And I'll, I'll tell you what those were so that hopefully you don't end up in the same place I was. I cut out and prepared all of the papers that I wanted to add to all of my envelopes. And as I started, um, as I started gluing everything down, I realized that there was a problem on the inside of the envelope. So let me tell you what I did. After I made the base, what did I do? Now, I man, I wish that I had been able to uh, do the video yesterday. Um, okay, so yeah, after I did the video, I was like, oh, I need for my pockets to be here, not here, because that would be a problem trying to get things in and out, right? And so I went through and I took my, my little uh, paper trimmer and I trimmed off the smallest amount on the edge of each one of the envelopes, okay? So all of them will be a pocket on the edge of the envelope. So as I started gluing my pages down, I realized that the flap that I had put in here was hanging loose in there because I was thinking, oh, it's fine. I'll glue it right here. Things will slide in and out, no problem. But then I thought, Stephanie, you don't want them sliding this way because that's a problem with your, the center of your signature, your, you know, the fold. It's really hard to get things in and out that way. You want your pocket over here. And I looked down in there and I'm like, oh no, the flap. So I had the flap inside kind of loose on this side, but glued down on this side. So I had to stop the video and go through and I started gluing the flaps and I thought, this is ridiculous. This isn't gonna work either. And then I realized another problem. The sticky part of um, the envelopes was also sticking up. And these were already starting to stick where that sticky stuff was. And then I realized I had to add a piece of paper inside of each one of them. So that's when I turned the camera off and I sat here for about an hour adding paper so that I could cover up that flap, not only because it was gonna be a catch place, but also because the sticky stuff was going to end up being a problem. So each one of them now is lined. And then at that point, I'm like, okay, I'm done. I, I can't do this anymore. So you didn't get to see, or you won't get to see the process that I did here on the front flap, but the back is the same. So I'll show you what I did when we get to the back. And I'm sorry about that, but you know, that's the way these things go. You think you have a plan and then you realize as you're doing it, that's not gonna work. So here we are. This is the, oh, um, I'll show you the papers I'm using. I'm not sure, but I might have gotten both of these at Tuesday morning. So predominantly I'm using this paper pack. Um, and it is from Tuesday morning and I couldn't tell you when I got it. It's been quite a while. And then I'm also using this paper pack for these sorts of pages that are more um, plain, less decorative so that you can journal on these pages. So you'll see as we go through. So those are the paper packs. And I have all of my pages cut out. I've sewn around each one of them. And after I started doing all of the sewing, I thought, you know, I wish I had done a zigzag stitch. That I think would have been cuter, but I didn't want to switch to that after I had already started. So here we are. I'm going to get this out of the way. And we've got lots of gluing ahead of us. I'm going to get this out of the way. So here's our first signature. 
and I have my stack of paper all ready to go. So here's this page here, and it's it's already it's ready, it's cut, it's sewn. So we're just gonna glue. Yeah, I did I did so much prep on this yesterday. I I glued, I mean not glued, I um, sewed all morning in between um, cooking. I was making a pot of beans. And, um, I don't know if you guys have ever made a pot of beans. I, I know many of you probably have, but, um, I grew up eating a pot of beans. It was often, um, a weekend meal and it's crazy to believe, but I've never in my adult live on my own life. I don't think I've ever made a pot of beans since I was a kid. Isn't that crazy? I love beans and I eat them, um, but I tend to, like I'll add black beans to my salads or something like that, but I just go and buy a can of black beans and do it that way. But I, I've been watching um, Felicia at, I think it's Mouse Potato Designs. Is that what it is, Felicia? I'm sorry, I just, I. I know your name, and so I quit paying attention to the name of the channel. That's horrible, isn't it? <laughs> I think it's Mouse Potato Designs. Anyway, she is a healthy, healthy person, and and so then I started thinking, okay, Stephanie, you've got some beans in there. Why don't you go cook some? Um, so that's what I did. And so yesterday, I spent all day long cooking beans the old-fashioned way. I cleaned them. I did the quick soak on them. I read that you don't really have to soak them. And when I was growing up, I never, we didn't soak our beans. But, um, you know, maybe I have, because I remember doing that in the past. I've probably cooked beans, but it's been a long time. But anyway, I did not, I just put that on wrong. Oh no. No, I didn't. Yes, I did, you guys. Shoot. Okay. It'll be all right, but I did put it on wrong. I'll explain why. I left one side without sewing on it so that it's the side that is here and I can punch it. I didn't want to punch into my sewing. Shoot. Okay. It's okay. It's not going to be obvious, I don't think, but I'm going to be paying more attention. Now, anyway, the the bean soaking. So yeah, I, I did the boil and then s soaked for two hours and then I started cooking them. So all day long, I was adding water to my pot of beans, but I had a delicious pot of beans for dinner last night with some cornbread. Very yummy, took me back. So that was good. I have a funny bean story. I'm sure you want to hear it. <laughs> so like I say, when I was growing up, we, we had beans on Saturday quite often because of it being like the long process. And so um, as we got older and were able to do the cooking, and really didn't want to go shopping with mom and dad anymore because that's no fun when you're a teenager. Um, we started being the ones that had to do the beans on Saturday. My sister Leah and I, my younger sister was, you know, quite a bit younger and just really wasn't the one to leave to do that sort of thing yet. But um, so my dad was... My dad was um, a very authoritarian father figure and whatever he said, it better be done that way. And, you know, you don't want to just go against any of it. <laughs> and so he told us, start a pot of beans. We're having beans for dinner. And so, okay. We, we cleaned the beans and we got going on that. And, um... You know, we started adding the, 
the water because, you know, the wild water boils off and all that. All of a sudden, my parents have been gone for a couple of hours. So, you know, we're, we're into the bean cooking process. And really, we're to the point where they could show up at any time. And the beans are burning. And of course, my dad would say as he was leaving, don't burn the beans because he knew uh, the process and it happens. You forget and all of a sudden you've got scorched beans and you cannot eat scorched beans. They're horrible and it makes the house smell so bad. I really need to quit talking because I messed up again. I just made the pocket too small by the glue inside. There'll be a short tag inside of this one and a short tag inside of this one. It's okay, but I won't be making any more mistakes. You know how many videos in the last couple days I've had to not upload because it's just kind of not working out for me? It's ridiculous. Somebody said to me in a comment the other day that they were impressed that I was able to talk and still do the work? <laughs> I guess not. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, well, the sewing is on the correct side. Yeah. It's okay. I mean, it's just a short pocket. That's not a big deal. Okay. Oh no. And another mistake. That's not the paper that was supposed to be there. It was supposed to be this paper was supposed to be here. I just, I want to turn the camera off right now, you guys. I'm so frustrated. It's okay. Those still go together. But I'm so frustrated with myself right now. Okay. I'm going to stop talking about beans for a minute. And I'm going to figure out my pages. They're fine. They're going to be fine. But still, it's just frustrating. Come on, Stephanie. Get it together. Okay. I know where everything goes. And I'm going to make a full pocket. It doesn't matter on this side because there's no pocket right here. Okay. 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 The bean story. <laughs> you guys are like, maybe you shouldn't, Stephanie. Maybe you should just glue and close your mouth. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, I I switch back and forth in with the glues because um, this glue is really a good glue, but it is more expensive than it's more inexpensive than the art glitter glue. And so I don't want to use up quite as much of the art glitter glue as the other one. So that's why I keep going back and forth. Um, my papers I cut just in from the edge of the envelope kind of all the way around. Um, no particular, I didn't measure any of them. I just kind of stick them on there and make a pencil mark where I want to make my cuts. Okay. This one's here and I need to only glue around the edge and then I can put some glue here, but not here. Important. Okay, so the beans. We forgot about the beans and they started to burn. Now, remember I said my dad, authoritarian, you did not want to have him mad at you. Um, and yes, you know, I guess he would say, you would say he understands mistakes are made, but you still, it was because you weren't doing what you had been told. So you just, you just didn't want to go there. So my sister and I start panicking. I'm like, oh shoot, what do we do? Okay, so we, um, we, of course we dumped the beans, but, but it stunk so bad. And we were so far into the cooking process that this was going to be a problem because the beans weren't going to be ready 
in the amount of time that they should have been ready because they take so long. So I know what you guys are thinking. Crock pot. I mean, not crock pot. Um, pressure cooker, right? <sighs> My dad didn't like beans in the pressure cooker. He could tell the difference. Um, I don't know. It's been so long since I cooked using a pressure cooker. But I don't know if since it's like such a fast, hard cook, maybe it would tear the beans up or something and they weren't whole. I don't know, but he could tell the difference. He liked them slow cooked on the stove. And we're like, what do we do? Oh no. So we dump the beans. We, we take them out. We put them in the trash. We clean the pan, scrubbing it. And that's not easy. If you've ever burnt beans onto... Um, I, if those pans that we used back then were like old aluminum pots. Anyway, we get it all cleaned up. We, we clean a new batch of beans. We used to buy beans in bulk. And so there would be like dirt clods and rocks and twigs and all of that. So it wasn't like you just open the plastic bag and pour the beans in and start cooking them. We had to get them all cleaned up and sorted and all that kind of stuff. And so... We did all that and we're like, we're doing the pressure cooker. We'll, we'll pressure cook them for, you know, I don't know what it was, an hour or something like that. We'll just do that and then we'll check them to see if they're kind of as soft as you would think they should be at this point during the day. And so we started doing that and then we also had to get the smell of the bean out of the house, the burnt bean, and it was terrible. It was very obvious that that's what had happened. And so we go and we find um, towels that we could put bleach on. And so like we did a thing of bleach water in the sink and um, opened up every window in the house and got towels wet with bleach water. And we we're walking all of us because none of us wanted to be in trouble. <laughs> And we're walking around the house with bleachy towels, airing the house out as best as we could. <laughs> it worked, you guys. So we, we cooked beans and got the smell out and he never knew. Or if he did, he didn't say anything because he would have said something. I'm sure he didn't know. We got the beans cooked and we, we talk about that still today. You know, it's 30 something years ago, 40 years ago that this happened. So, yeah, don't burn the beans. So all day long yesterday, as I was adding water to my beans, I was thinking about that. But I was also thinking that if I burn the beans, dug on it, who cares? I'd just throw them away and do it another day. So, and I do have an Instapot now. It's actually my son's. He bought it, but it's on my kitchen cabinet or counter, and so I can use it. Um, but I've never cooked with one and I'm very, um, afraid of it. I'm like, uh, I don't know. Don't know what to do there. So I think that if I, whenever I do another pot, I'll, I'll try the Instapot and see what happens. But there's my bean story, even at the at the detriment to my envelope journal here. And I kind of wonder what I talked about, you know, in the other video, because I think I had filmed for maybe 10 minutes before realizing that it, there's just no way I was gonna be able to complete the filming. I believe I was talking about how it had snowed all day the day before and then it started raining so it's like a slushy wet mess yesterday and you know it's hard for them to keep up on all of the roads you know that way and so the main roads would were scraped and stuff like that but the side roads were horrible and parking lots, you know, big old slushy puddle. So, 
That was yesterday. I haven't been out today, but it's, it's not real cold. I can tell that it's like just kind of, um, a slight melt will happen today, but not, not all of it. For sure. So we got like, I don't know, eight to 10 inches. I don't really know. I never heard an official how much, but, um, we, we get different amount, like the amount that they say that fell, they go by the airport in Spokane, but I live in a different area than that. And so, and I'm kind of up, up in a hill area a little bit. So we get more snow than the airport does. But we were like, stop. Okay, stop now. No more snow. Okay, so that's the first signature. And so I've got, you know, a page where you can, you know, stick something to it and a page where you can journal. Journal, stick something to it. I have no idea what that's going to be at this point, but we'll see. I've never, like I said before, I've never done a journal like this. So this is going to be upside down if I put it on like that. So what I'm going to do is, you know, I messed myself up when I, I did the wrong things. Um, that needs to be, okay, let me figure this out real quick. These have, like this one has words on it and I want my words to be the right direction. So let's see. We'll do that. I need one. Okay, this is the center. here that doesn't have a direction. Okay, not that color. I really didn't want to use that one again so soon. Okay. You guys, it's so frustrating when you think you have it all worked out and then all of a sudden you don't. Those are okay. That's good. That is. Okay. Yes. That's the center. That works. Okay, now that can go there. I'm smart enough to keep my mouth closed for a minute while I'm trying to figure this out, right, you guys? Somehow I ended up with... I don't know. Yeah, that's right. That's how it started, right? Okay. I've got it. I've got it. going to move this over here and start some more gluing. Um, this I know is probably not like the most exciting thing to watch. And I understand if you decide to fast forward through this, but I want your opinion kind of once I get it all together, I want your opinion towards the end 
So if you don't want to listen to my rambling, um, you know, feel free to fast forward to the point where I'm done gluing these pages in. I wish that I knew how to do the fast forwarding myself. That should be, you know, I've been asked. That's wrong. See the stitching thing, but I have to do it this way. I have to. I'm just doing it. Oh, so frustrated with myself. You have no idea how long I spent yesterday trying to make sure I had everything kind of in the right order. And then for it to get messed up. So frustrating. Oh, well. Okay. Don't glue the wrong area of the paper, Stephanie. So did anybody do anything exciting for their New Year's Eve celebration? Um, I'm sure that uh, that's kind of a resounding no at this point. I don't think there was anything available to do. I was talking to my neighbors and they, my neighbors are, um, they like to go out and, and do things. I'm just kind of not, I, I'm a homebody I'm, and I'm good with that. I, I enjoy home. It's not like I sit here going, I wish I could go somewhere and do something. I, that's totally not me. Um, I'm okay. I like to do something sometimes, but I like being at home. But my neighbors love going out and doing fun things. And so they were saying that they were in Coeur d'Alene last weekend at, I guess, the resort. And they were talking about how um, most everybody, they were not wearing masks. And, um, and so I guess at the Coeur d'Alene resort, I, I don't know if there's gambling there, but see, and this is how much I know about it. I mean, I've been to Coeur d'Alene obviously, and I've walked around in, in all the places, but I think that there's no gambling at the resort, but then there's like a Coeur d'Alene casino or something like that, which I've also never been to. And so maybe they went to both places or something because they talked about the casino, I believe, being full of people and no masking. And then they also talked about the casino. There's a casino in um, Airway Heights, which is just right by Spokane. <clears throat> and they've talked about how um, like it's few and far between that anybody is wearing masks there either. I just kind of find that weird because it seems like they should still have to follow the same rules. Like, are they immune? Are casinos immune to pandemic rules? You know, it's kind of, I don't know. Interesting, I think. So, but they've been out doing fun things, but they didn't yesterday. I don't know. I don't know why, but... They did not. I was asleep on the couch at about, um, I would say a few minutes after 10, I was probably asleep on the couch and um, I woke up to fireworks at 11. I thought, wow, I slept for two hours already, you know, because if I, I knew I was falling asleep right around 10. And um, I looked at my phone and it said 11. And I was like, wait a minute, am I seeing it wrong? Is my phone wrong? Why are people doing fireworks at 11? I don't understand. So this is the center of the signature. And in one of those paper packs, there was this page that had this big flower right in the middle. And I was like, how am I ever going to use that in a journal? But it works pretty well right in the center. Um, so anyway, then, you know, I fell asleep again. And then I knew when 12 o'clock happened because the fireworks started again. My cat did not appreciate it. 
They're the, the big booms, you know. Okay. So I think this will be a cute journal once I, you know, get it all done and figure out what I want to do with it. I have no idea. Come on. This is, again, it's this, it, this glue dries pretty quick. Did you just hear that sneeze? <laughs> that was my son. I need to finish my December daily. I have two days and then I'll show you guys just a flip through of it so then I can put it away. I had in mind of something to do for the 31st but I don't ever have any of my family members at the house at the same time anymore these days and so I didn't get it done what I was thinking to do so I'll just come up with something else to put on there. But I need to do that today. I don't know why, but I feel like I want to go shopping today, and there's nothing that I need, but I just feel like I want to go shopping. I don't think I will. I'll get um, too engrossed in everything else that I'm doing, and I, I know that I won't do it, but sounds like fun. I know what else I was doing yesterday in the middle of cooking beans and sewing these papers on and messing up a video. I was changing how I have pictures hung in the living room. I had kind of a, what do you call it, a vignette when you have like a grouping of something. I had kind of just the same thing in the same place really, um, I would say, since we've moved here and that's been... 12 years ago and um, I thought you know after I put all my Christmas stuff away I just I I didn't bring my decorations back in and um, just because all that Christmas clutter kind of starts getting to me and so I had left it and not put everything back up yet so I finally I finally decided to get everything put back up but I wanted it different so I was filling holes in the, the um, sheetrock and having to repaint areas because I had, you know, kind of shelves hanging in an area and um, they had those anchor type screws. And um, So it was quite the process, but I finally finished that yesterday sometime in the afternoon after everything dried. And then I had to have somebody help me with the hanging because, you know, I had to have them stand or they would hold the picture and I would say higher or lower, you know, that sort of thing. Um, so I needed somebody's arms to help me, but I got them all hung and I think it looks really pretty. So I feel less like I need to paint and make a big change. I am thinking I'm going to paint my trim, though, at some point. Oh, I would rather not, but I think I want to. Maybe if I did, like, one 
door frame a week or something like that. Like if I said, okay, this week we'll do this one and so that I don't kill myself doing it. However, I would have to take the door off. And so that's pretty inconvenient when you're talking about a bathroom. <laughs> pretty inconvenient. Okay, I think this one's next. This is definitely out of my wheelhouse, these um, papers. I, I like them. I mean, obviously I bought them. But then I tend to do more like ruffly, floral, vintage is kind of what I, I like to do most of the time. But um, like I said, when I started this, I was kind of feeling like I didn't want to do anything grungy. And so I was going through my paper packs to see what fit. I made a mess too. I was digging around in my paper all day long trying to figure it out. Now I don't have as much paper as a lot of people, so, um, but it still makes a mess. Okay, next. We're getting close to being done with our gluing, you guys. I hear somebody talking in my house that doesn't sound like any of my family members. I don't know what's going on. much glue Stephanie. I actually think it was just my son talking to the cat or something. I don't know. Total silence. I don't know what else to talk about, you guys. Um, <laughs> let's see. Start talking and mess myself up again. I don't know. If, hopefully you guys aren't totally out of screen here. I feel a sneeze coming on. I need to run down to the shop where I sell um, some of my journals to see if they actually sold. It's the Christmas ones I was trying to sell. I don't know. The last time I stopped in, which was a couple of weeks ago, they were still there. So... 
It has to be, I understand, it has to be just the right person. And a lot of people be like, I don't understand what on earth you would use that for. I totally get that. I add a tag to them um, with a list of things that they, you know, here's a way to use them. But there aren't a lot of journal journalers out there, I know, so... It's funny, occasionally I'll be in, you know, like one of the shops in Spokane and I'll find where there's somebody else who does, you know, this sort of thing. And um, I'm always very curious to see, you know, what, what it is that they make and that sort of thing. There were, there's this one shop that I, I had only been to, I have still only been to it just once. Um, because it's all the way over on the other side of Spokane, and I think it's, I think the town is called Veradale, and I just, it's a long way for me, you know, and when there are other shops closer that I can go to, I don't see a reason to drive for 45 minutes to an hour, you know, just to go, but I had a friend who wanted to go, and so I went with her, and um, it's huge, this place is huge, and one lady was selling, they were, they were like fabric journals. They were just beautiful. They were so pretty. And I mean, so they were just, you couldn't write in them. They were just fabric. Like every page was a really pretty fabric. But yeah, they were really pretty. Yeah, so this one's going to be one with stitching on this side, but it's okay. It's okay. Let's see. I don't know. Maybe if I, you know, it has to be. I could do, I could switch it like this, I suppose, and just put the... It's one of those don't do as I do, do as I say videos. It's going to be a long one too, I'm quite sure. But like I said, I have, I have a question to ask you once we get to um, the end. And I would just ask now, but I have, it's like I want to explain what I'm asking, you know, because I want to ask your opinion on, on what I should do. <laughs> That's scary, isn't it? Like, never ask an opinion if you don't want it, right? Well, it's not advice about my life, <laughs> so I'm okay. I asked about, the other day in one of my videos, I asked about, you know, if I should continue listing my journals on Etsy or you know, what I should do. And I got some really, really good advice. So sometimes advice is a good thing, <laughs> you know, when you sincerely want it. Um, so yeah, I, I got some really good advice on that. I was happy with that. Some very, very nice ladies you guys are. And I say ladies because I don't think I have any male um, subscribers at this point. Maybe someday. glue's getting all goopy. I don't want to stop and clean it right now though.
I had, um, so the other day I, I made some, um, ruffle fabric. This isn't the question, but this, uh, some ruffle fabric, um, flowers. And a couple of you guys asked, you know, how I made the fabric ruffle. And so I decided to do a video on how I do it. And it was another disastrous video. And so I told the couple of people who asked, you know, I said, well, what I'll do is I'll upload the video and I'll make it so that only you can see it. Cause you know, it's, you can do a private one, right? And so I went ahead and I uploaded it and I set it to private. Um, and so I went on this morning to try and make it so that those people could see it, you know, and they, and I told them that it's not a good video. So just be aware of that. And I can't really, I mean, it says to enter. I just thought you could choose your subscriber. You know, I thought it would say, make it available to the subscriber or whatever, but that's not what it says. You have to, um, put in the person's email address and it says, then they must sign on to their Google account. And I'm like, well, oh, that's, I don't, uh. <laughs> That's not what, what I wanted to have happen. So I think that I'll go ahead and try tomorrow to make another video um, on how to how I make the fabric ruffles. So if you're one of those people who wondered, I'm still trying. Still trying. We're almost to the end. I keep pushing on these sides just because of all that thread. I want that thread to really stick. And that's why I was using the art glare glue for the edges. Okay, so now the back. What I did on the back was, again, I didn't want my pocket here. I wanted my pocket here. And so I took something and just... I just took a knife and sliced that open after I had, cause I had already put everything together. So I just sliced it open with a knife. And then I wanted my, um, my cover to be a little more sturdy. So I took another cardstock type, um, scrapbook paper and glued that down in there. And then here's this one. So the sewing on this one is like this so that I can put a thumb punch at the top. And I explained all of that in the video that isn't, you know, that I couldn't upload um, because of the envelope errors that I kept finding. I did also go through and glued all the little loose bits and pieces. Um, okay, and then I'm going to just do this. makes your fingers a little bit sore after all that rubbing. 
Okay, now this one, again, is going to be opening from here. And I lined it, but I need to add a little bit of glue down in there. Because I actually think maybe I lined that with you guys. Sorry about my head if it's in there. And then I also, like I said, I went and glued all the little bits and pieces, but here are a couple that I missed. And I don't know that that, that would be a problem at all. I don't think that it would, but just in case, I went ahead and did that. So yeah, yesterday was a ton of prep. There, There's a lot of prep when it comes to this. So if I had it to do over again, what would I do differently? I would cut the flaps down. I wouldn't leave that big flap in there. I would take them and cut them like this and get rid of the problem. Seriously, I would not do the same thing. Okay. This one is sewn all the way around ahead and do this glue I'll clean my glue head off after this video I just there it's so long I don't want to stop and do that I think it'll be really sturdy though. Um, you know, envelopes aren't the sturdiest thing in the world, although these are Hallmark envelopes and they're, I would say, a little more sturdy than some of the other uh, off-brand ones that you can get because some of the envelopes that, you know, I find sometimes are really, really thin. So these aren't bad. Um, I think they'll hold up just fine, but with all of this heavy scrap of paper on there, it's really beefed them up. I put the paper on the wrong side. Tell you what, you guys, it's okay. I mean, it's going to work out just fine, but I put it on the wrong side. Did you know that? It meant, I meant it to be the exact same as this one. The best laid plans. Either way, I think it's still going to be pretty, and nobody would know that it's not in the order I intended unless I told them, right? Nobody would know. Let's see. I think my wipe just fell on the floor somewhere. I have a couple of paper towels. I don't know if that was a good idea. The paper towel tears. Are those all of my pieces? You guys, we did it. Okay, I am not sure yet what I'm going to do in the spine. Because, you know, it'll be... Um, they'll be sewn in, but I'm just not sure what I'm going to do there or here. I don't know yet. My question. So, these are all pockets here, but it's not obvious, right? And so I've thought about a couple of things. I can take and do just a punch right here um, so that, you know, you turn the page and you're like, oh, there's something inside of there. You can see it. I thought about doing a punch there and I thought, well, what if I did, what if I did thumb punch on this one? And then like on this one, I did my thumb punch here. And then on this one, I did it down here so that they were staggered. 
and then I started over again and I staggered them. And then the tags that I put inside would have something sticking out. And so then when it's closed, you would have staggered, you know, tag things throughout the whole thing. So that's one option. I could leave them just as they are and still have tags in the same way sticking out, but no thumb. Or the last option I was thinking of was using this and doing it like this and punching it, punch and punch, and then cutting that right there um, so that it had like an opening, but it would be the entire page all the way through the journal would be open like this, which is a problem since um, I had to do some of it. I messed myself up, you know, because it would cut the stitches and I don't know what kind of problem that might end up being, but it would be like that all the way through and then the cards would be obvious. So it's not like the whole book would have chunks out of it, um, but it would have because it would have like a journal card inside. And then I would have tabs or whatever sticking off of all of those journal cards. What do you guys think? So here it is all done. It's gonna end up being kind of fat with journal cards in all of them, but here's how it works. So we have um, here and here. I will do the thumb hole up here. So there's pocket there. And then we have pocket in each of our pages. So we'll go ahead and do the fit, flip through all of all the pages. And so every other page is journaling, journaling, journaling. And I thought this was cute because you could journal on both sides of it. And you could even color this flower in. I thought that might be fun. And then all the way through. And then it just kind of repeats. And then here we have pocket here and a pocket up here. So that's where we are now. It's very sturdy, you guys. I mean, like, it's it's a solid, solid book. Anyway, I hope that you stuck with me. I know it's long and boring at times and a, f a fumble. I don't know if that's what you would call it. But anyway, um, I hope you guys have a terrific first day of the year, and I will talk to you soon. Bye.